What's going on guys, Spartan Willie here and welcome to a tutorial on how to install the enhanced graphics mod on your Motorsport Manager game. Okay, so this is actually one of the mods that is recommended to download after you install the F1 2021 Manager mod. Um, if you want to know how to install the 2021 Manager mod, that will be in the top right right now and it will also be in the description below. Um, so this is one of the two mods by Newman that is recommended as you hear extended camera and enhanced graphics. Um, I have done a video on the extended camera, there'll be more on that one later, but yeah, let's get stuck in. Okay, so next up you're going to want to install WinRAR onto your PC if you don't already have it. So select whatever version applies to you, the language and the bit of your system, run through the setup and install it to your PC. If you already have it, you can skip the step and let's get into the next step. Okay, so the next step is we're going to need to download and install the Unity Mod Manager. Now, if you follow my tutorial from a couple days ago, you'll probably already have it. If you downloaded the um, extended camera mod, you will definitely have it because you need it for it. So I'm just going to get the footage from that tutorial and put it here just because I like how I summarized it. And sometimes when you repeat something you've already done, you miss out on some details because if you like you're um, like repeating yourself. So I feel like it's better if I just put it straight in. And yeah, so if you've already done it, skip to this time now. If not, Stay tuned, it's a quick installation, it'll take like a minute or two. Okay, now you're going to need the Unity Mod Manager to help install the mod. The link to this will of course be in the description below, along with the mod. And just hit download here in the top right, it should say manual. Now you will need a free account to make this, but yeah, like I said, it is completely free. So just sign up to Nexus Mods, um, and you can get premium if you want, or if you already have it, you can get a fast download, but we're just going to go slow download, and that will download, and I'll be with you when this download is done. Okay, so my Unity Mod Manager has just completed downloading. I've moved it to my desktop just to make it a bit easier to see. Um, it does come in WinRAR, hence why we downloaded WinRAR and installed it on our PC if we didn't already have it. So you just want to right click on it and go extract files, just to give us a normal folder. Just hit OK, and it should pop up right here. And as you see there, it comes up in a normal folder. So now we're just going to open that normal folder up. It comes up with just another Unity Mod Manager. Click on that. And there's a bunch of application files here. We're going to go in Unity Mod Manager, not Unity Mod Manager dash net 35 or net 45, just the normal one. Double click on it and select Motorsport Manager. I've already opened it up once, but for you, it would probably be a dance of fire and ice. Just open it up, find Motorsport Manager in the list. And then we're now we're going to need to go to our Motorsport Manager directory. Okay, so if you have no idea where your Motorsport Manager directory is, I'll quickly show you how to find it. So if you go on your Steam library and on the left here, you should see Motorsport Manager in your list of games. Right click on it and go to the bottom option properties. And then there should be a bunch of options here on the left and go local files, the third one down. And then just hit browse. Alright, so up there is the path. So this PC, new volume, Steam games, Steam apps, common Motorsport Manager. So now we know where to look. So if we go files, go this PC, and go new volume, and then common, and then find Motorsport Manager. That is basically a rundown. If you have no idea where directory is, that is where it is. So then just select Motorsport Manager and hit OK. And there you go. It's been found. Okay, now that we've found our folder, we can just hit install. And as you see there, installation was successful. So if you selected the right folder, it will download perfectly and work as should. Okay, so here we are, ready to download the mod after we've installed Unity Mod Manager or if we already had it. So just go manual download here in the top right, similar to the mod manager. It will take you to the screen where it's a bit bigger than our uh, extended camera mod, obviously. That was 7 kilobytes. This is 3.9 megabytes. So just hit slow download. It will download pretty pretty quick anyway on slow download. Again, like I said in the last one, the fast download is just for your bigger mods. So I see they're pretty instant. Let's get into installing it. Okay, so I've just moved the download to the desktop just for simplicity's sake for the video. And I've booted up my Unity Mod Manager. So if you already had it installed, then just boot it up. Um, and yeah, so just navigate to this mods tab. Sorry, I was already in it, but you'll open it up on this install tab. Just click the mods there and um, just drag this file into there. Now, a weird thing about this one is it actually comes in a file called Unity Mod Manager, but that's fine because there's an enhanced graphics file in there. So it can only take zip files. So don't try and drag this in because it won't work. It'll just say only zip files. So just seriously just drag this straight in there like I just did. And it will come up with uh, enhanced graphics. 
So if you want to know how to install the extended camera mod, that's in the top right right now. It's a very similar process, you know, and probably identical. So yeah, but if you need a helping hand, it's a video, so check that out, it's in the description as well. But let's jump in the game and see if this installation worked. Okay, so I've just booted up my Motorsport Manager now, and as you can see there, the Mod Manager straight away says I've got enhanced graphics and extended camera. So it's highly recommended in the Manager mod of 2021 that you have both these mods, and I do. Um, I've also just wrapped up a rebuilding Ferrari save, so check that out, it's in the top right right now if you want to have a look at that. As you see, the heroic Grosjean escape is the main centerpiece of the main menu there, but I'm going to jump into a little race and we can see how the graphics look. Okay, so I've booted up a little single race here in Australia just to sort of show the enhanced graphics. Uh, obviously, I'm getting this close with the extended camera mod, so... You know, that's a whole layer of immersion. You can hide the HUD and stuff like that, get up nice and close. And as you there, the wheels are actually spinning. I recorded some footage on the before I installed the mod, and as you there, the car is sort of just levitating over. But with this mod, the cars are actually turning. Now, the disappointing thing is at the moment, the F1 2021 manager mod doesn't have the wheel spinning. They're still static. Um, I'm not sure if this will be added in the future, but on the base game, you can see the difference in the wheel spin. And there's lots of um, options to change the rate of the wheel spin. I've turned mine up to max, but actually there, it looks really good. The tire is sort of turning, and it just looks so much better with a bit of bloom. You can turn everything down if it's too much, too blurry. But yeah, it, these mods do really go hand in hand. You can seriously make your game look really good. Like, it already was a good looking game, but you can make it look even better. This community is single handedly keeping this game alive, and it's fantastic. Hopefully, we'll get another <laughs> Mozart Manager soon. But yeah, that is how to install this mod. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please feel free to leave a like. It helps the video out heaps. And subscribe for Motorsport Manager slash Football Manager slash other game content. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.